this week's DRM Not Included on F5 Live is proudly powered by Amazon Prime. You know that you get free shipping on a lot of items, but you may not know that you also get free uh, music with Amazon Prime Music. You get free TV, movies, and documentaries with Amazon Prime Video, free video games, and a free Twitch subscription to financially support the content creator of your choice with Amazon Prime Gaming, and a whole lot more. And all of that is part of your existing Amazon Prime subscription. To learn more, to get links to all of these features that you may not have known about, and if you're not already a subscriber, to get a 30-day free trial, uh, you can go to f5live.tv slash prime. Speaking of content creators, YouTube has been one of the primary places for content creators for a long time. Obviously, Twitch has, has become, as we are here on both YouTube and Twitch right now, if you're watching live, um, Twitch has become a big, a big place for content creators, but that's mostly for live. Facebook has some interaction. Some people succeed over there, but it's really, really been about YouTube. But Google's messaging on on their relationship with content creators has been confusing for a while. We've talked about uh, a number of issues uh, that have popped up over the years. Uh, a new one is happening right now uh, in, in uh, the reliability of statistics, uh, but I'm not going to get into that today because we're dealing with it ourselves. Um, but... One of the things that has really sent a mixed message was that it seemed that YouTube was trying to compete with its own content creators with their YouTube Originals programming. Um, whether it be, you know, smaller style game show programs or big budget uh, uh, projects like the first season of Cobra Kai, uh, YouTube has put a lot of weight behind behind their YouTube originals, despite the fact that the general reception has been disinterest. Um, people generally have not cared about uh, the stuff under the YouTube originals as much as YouTube had hoped. Uh, in fact, even Cobra Kai didn't really catch on until it moved over to Netflix. Um, because of that, YouTube has announced that YouTube originals is no more. Uh, the division has been has been cleared. We saw this coming a little bit when the head of the division left a couple of months ago. Um, but now the division is no more. There are two categories under what was YouTube Originals that will stick around. Those are YouTube Kids and uh, Black Voices. But all of the other YouTube Originals are hereby ended. Um, and, and the company said that they're doing this because they feel like their resources have been spread too thin and that they have not been giving attention to the content creators as they deserve, um, which I agree. <laughs> they definitely have not. Um, and so if this does help with, you know, YouTube focusing back on what made it it, <laughs> right, uh, I think this will be good for content creators. I think this will be good for media viewers because YouTube doesn't need to be Netflix. We don't need another Netflix because we have Hulu. We have Amazon Prime. We've got you know right. Disney Plus. We've got Paramount Plus. We've got HBO Max. We've got plenty of other services. We don't need YouTube also trying to be Netflix. Be the best thing that YouTube is. So I think this is a great move for content creators and for YouTube. Well, I'd like to know what the move is as far as for con as far as how they're going to help content creators. Agreed. A hundred percent agreed. Mean? What, I, what I I mean, are they going to give them more money? Are they going to send them better cameras or something? Like what <laughs> what what are they going to do to help content creators? Because it sounds to me more like. They just have a division that wasn't performing, and so they're killing it. I don't know if that's going to help the content creators in any tangible way. Yeah, I, I definitely agree on all of that. I will tell you what I would like to see out of them. I would like to see YouTube start putting more uh, effort into their back-end services. Um, there, is a, there is an issue with statistics where you know a video will have high views, and then all of a sudden, it doesn't. Um, 
all week we've been watching our videos view count go down instead of up. Um, we had three videos earlier this week lose 95% of their views overnight. Lose. So did people unwatch a video? Yeah, I mean, there's obviously, there's there's always issues like that, which is a real problem. But but the the question is, does does canceling YouTube originals do anything? I'm guessing that it just all goes straight to the bottom line. It was probably losing money. And so they probably, yeah. they said, what's the point of this? I mean, you're right, though, that YouTube had somewhat of an identity problem, or rather... There's the identity that YouTube really has, and then there's the identity that probably someone at Google thought they should have. Yes. Like, hey, this is a this is such a well known brand. We should be turning it into another Netflix or something. Mm -hmm. But YouTube is the center for user submitted content. Yes. Right? Now absolutely. What what Google, what I think Google should do with YouTube, but far be it from them to listen to me, is provide more and better ways for creators to monetize their content yes. and provide more and better ways for people to use and provide ways for people to use the YouTube tool set outside of YouTube. So like it would be i don't think right now there's a private any way to have a private label youtube right no like like at you know a lot of companies use other tools that want to say like they want to host their they want to have their own video where they can sell the ads into it and things like that will use other tools that are not as intuitive not as strong as as youtube and so as youtube is wouldn't it be great if just as you can get google apps for your domain you right. could get youtube for your domain and hey you can you know you can sell your own ads into it you could do your own stuff whatever but you can use the uploaders and the website and the web servers that they have for hosting and all the tools they have for embedded, you know, for online editing of your video and and wow. putting stuff on it or whatever. Like, why can't why can't they have a YouTube like YouTube for your domain type of thing? Yeah, wow, that's a great idea. <laughs> because there's a lot there is competition in that space. There are companies like JW Player or whatever where. Uh, you know, companies are, are paying because they don't want uh, YouTube to sell the ads on their on their content. Right. But like the tool set and the hosts and the servers and all that stuff, for, the infrastructure for YouTube is is great. Right. So like, right. why wouldn't you want to allow I mean, to allow other companies to like other publishers to pay to use that infrastructure? I mean, but that again, nothing to do with youtube originals because youtube originals right. i think it was just something that wasn't that wasn't earning money period yeah i i agree completely but now that they have freed up resources both both human and uh and financial capital right maybe we can see them start working on things that actually make sense <laughs> but i mean the, the 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 hardest thing for you know it is for all the issues that we've seen with folks getting copyright strikes and and things like that or maybe it too easily getting you know penalized or, or whatever all that type of stuff like yeah maybe they should invest in making things a little bit more friendly for the creators for the creators the, on youtube because the review process the the uh the challenge process for a for a strike that would be great Right. Or like, or getting information about why you received a strike. Just that. Just yeah. that would be nice. Fix fix all of that because YouTube has behaved like very much like a monopoly in that they really don't treat the creators. Yeah. They don't treat the creators very well. They're more than happy to, 
give you strikes or, or whatever. Um, and so, but on the other hand, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of really good competition out there. Like where, where do you go if, if you're not, you know, if you're banned from YouTube or if you're, you're not making the money you want on YouTube. Yep. YouTube is Tw I mean, Twitch and Facebook. If you're game streaming, it's trip. If you're game streaming, it's Twitch, maybe it's Facebook or whatever, but like, there's no, there's no real competition there. So yeah, YouTube is, is in a great position. If only, if only they could, you know, make sure that they're really taking care of their, mm -hmm. of their creators and providing more opportunities for them to earn. And the other, the other thing that YouTube could, could try to be a little bit more is, is it could act a little bit more like a social network because in effect, YouTube is a social network, right? I mean, yeah. you have profiles on there. People leave comments. There's, there's videos like it's the Google has basically decided a while ago that they can't do social networking, right? Like mm -hmm. they tried with Google plus they failed, but like, here's an area where they have great success. YouTube, they have a, they have a dominant property. Yeah. And it is, and it is a social property. So like, maybe they should fake, find a way to actually make it more palatable, like make it, I don't know, more successful as a social network. Yeah, I, I agree. They've, they've added some stuff like, like posts, but it would be great if, so one of the things that Facebook has the ability to do is to share ownership of a video. So we do it with our CES content, right? So we'll post the video as a premiere on, say, Monday on the Plug Kids Live Facebook page. And then on Tuesday, we'll post it not as a premiere, just as a video on F5 Live. And then on Wednesday, we'll post it just as a video on the Pilch Point Facebook page or something like that. But all three, if, let's say, you're an admin on the Pilch Point, Facebook page, right? So you can actually go right. in and you can see all of the stats for that video, whether they came from Plug Hits Live, F5 Live, or Pilch Point. You can actually see the stats across all three platforms. Why why does the video site not have that? <laughs> why can I not share a video as if it's mine? Uh, like for GNC Week in Review. I would love for Plug Hits Live to be able to share that video, but to have the stats be available. Nope. Facebook's got it figured out. YouTube, nothing. Yeah, it, I mean, they really could. There's a lot that they could do, even though they really do have a very strong platform technologically. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice to see them do all these things. I don't think that this move is going to change anything except for the fact that, once again, Google is dropping something that was unsuccessful. Right. What, Google dropping a project? No, they've never done that before. Oh, no, wait. We have a tag in our system specifically for that. That's what I meant. <laughs> uh Hopefully, hopefully they're not just blowing smoke, but I think, I think you're probably right on, uh, on the reality of what's going to happen here. Hello, YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of F5 Live Refreshing Technology. If you did, please uh, subscribe to the channel down below, and of course hit the notification bell because we know that subscriptions don't mean much on YouTube anymore. Uh, if you've got topics that you'd like us to talk about in the future, please uh, comment them down below. And if you'd like to not follow us on YouTube, there's lots of ways that you can follow along with our content by going to plughitslive.com slash subscribe. There you'll see all of our shows and all of the ways that you can watch, listen, and follow along.